How are you guys? This is Drama Baz and today we are going to talk about Toxic Bill series. Things on this list will either be a toxic relationship overall or very dark trope or triggers. Some people will come to find things to watch and some will come to find things to avoid. No judgment here either way. If I miss some series then please comment down to let me know. So before we start the video please like, subscribe and share my channel for more content like this. Now I won't bother you guys more. So let's get started. Kin Porsche Kin, the second son of the prominent mafia head, is ambushed by an enemy and meets Porsche, a college student who comes to his rescue, thus beginning their reluctant relationship as boss and bodyguard, which soon turns into something more. Inarguably, the most questionable romance in this entire series was Vegas and Pete. Vegas is the most flawed character in this universe. He is arrogant, sharp like the edges of the knife and ruthless and hence his romance with Pete makes little to no sense cause Pete is kind, innocent, honest and loyal. This pureness draws Vegas attention because he has never met someone like Pete before. Bible is an enigma. It's not easy playing a villain with daddy issues but he does it effortlessly. You will love it. Love Syndrome 3 An unexpected accident left Dave with serious injuries, making it blame himself for what happened to him. What will it do when Dave wakes up with no memory at all? The person who used to be so caring and loving becomes ruthless. How will a love story unravel between them? So to be honest, Day has anger management issues that he needs to work out but he can't. It has panic attacks because of his man and his issues. They were toxic. I think Lee Long Shi and Frank have great chemistry. I might not be the biggest fan of their characters and there are scenes that drive me up the walls but their chemistry is amazing. The end scenes are sweet in one episode and turns completely opposite in others. So um, this drama is totally a hot mess which made me lose my mind and I cannot forget it. Thorn type Type is a handsome freshman with a passion for soccer and spicy food. Although he is a friendly boy, he hates gay people for a reason. His life turned upside down when the new academic year of college brings along a charismatic roommate Than. He is gorgeous, compassionate music major who is also openly gay. When Type learns this, he is determined to make Than leave the dorm. Than is equally determined not to give in to Type's homophobic tantrums with a gay guy and a homophobic guy that have to share a small space together for the rest of the year what could possibly be the outcome of their story? So toxic but so ridiculously good. If you are looking for a lovely story with a mild plot and just romantic, this is not for you. Thorn type can be triggering to many. But if you are into the more realistic side of relationships and angsty, then you should watch it. The chemistry between the main leads is outstanding and both have a huge character development through all the season. Unforgotten Night Unforgotten Night is a Thai Bale series about a passionate romance after a one-night stand. The heartbroken protagonist wants to get over his ex-boyfriend and hooks up with a random stranger. Following a steamy evening together, he discovers his partner works for the mafia. The crime boss is enthralled with their chemistry and insists on a long-term relationship. The couple goes through turmoil as they navigate their incompatible lifestyles. I honestly have no words to describe this train wreck of a series. Unforgotten Night is so bad that it almost reaches iconic status. Unforgotten Night leans heavily on portraying lust, passion and sensuality. While you don't see anything explicit, the series prides itself in being kinkier than your average BL dramas and the scenes where Kamu speaks in Korean, please, my ears were bleeding. You can watch this series for some fun though. Addicted 
Addicted is a popular BL drama which ended abruptly due to the censorship crackdown by the Chinese government. This series focuses on two high school students who didn't like each other at first. Over childish prank and cheeky banter, their relationship improves until they become friends and possibly something more. Addicted is very popular series as any time a BL series gets banned it only increases your curiosity and makes you want to watch even more while some element of the story are provocative and considered problematic the series is hardly as controversial as it is made out to be addicted definitely does not deserve to be censored and cancelled midway sadly it never got to reach its full potential and the series ended on an unsatisfying cliffhanger that will never be resolved i am so disappointed by what happened to addicted and it still things even all these years later irresistible love a young shonian is a lonely kid who is living in an orphanage where he hopes to find a good family that loves him this is when shi yan the son of real estate magnate adopts him he worked as a page boy for him until shi yan went abroad to study 6 year later shi yan returns home when he is 25 years old and is reunited with shu nian shu's secret crush on shi yan is revealed and chaos occurs shi yan not being able to handle the situation due to his tendency of homophobia sends shu away from his side soon after shi yan realizes that shu nian is the only one who can help stabilize his temperament and gradually realizes his true feeling for shu however many obstacles will appear between between them This has higher heat levels, good chemistry, very grey morality, mature characters, non-school setting and a medium length treatment. It also has some serious angsty plot because of the unequal power dynamic and bisexuality of characters. There's little action, only one couple and ending is all over the place. There are two versions, happy ending if you can find the right one, but I like this. My personal weatherman popular handsome man and weather forecaster sagasaki is actually a tyrant at home yo an erotic manga artist in a tight spot knows this very well this is because the two of them are living together more than that it's because he cooks and cleans for sagasaki to no surprise in exchange for being provided food he must obey everything that sagasaki says what comes from such a contract My Personal Weatherman is a very promising series. It ended on October 13 with episode 8 being the last one. This has everything that makes a good adaptation. I am seriously in awe at how well written this series is. The screenwriter and the production team took the essence of the original source and enhanced it. Good production value and good chemistry between the leads. It really maintains the production quality, the same level of hotness and horniness up to the last episode. My Beautiful Man My Beautiful Man is a Japanese BL drama about a student who falls in love with his bully. The protagonist is a social outcast in his new high school and becomes a lackey for the popular kids. Despite his awful treatment, he develops a hopeful crush on one of his handsome classmates. My Beautiful Man deviates from the typical BL drama. It is not afraid to make the main character appear flawed and unlikable. The protagonist suffers from severe anxiety and it's uncomfortable to watch him struggle in social situations. It's incredibly emotionally and visually compelling with complex character that develop themselves and their relationship to one another so captivatingly over the 6th episode. I love it. Innocent Innocent is a Taiwanese BL series about a man with dissociative identity disorder. His two distinctive personalities mask a repressed trauma from the past. When he begins a romance with an ordinary man, they go around an emotional journey of anguish and healing.
innocent captivates me with an intriguing premise a bail drama about dissociative identity disorder feels unexpected of course the theme are explored on a surface level still it is fascinating to watch the same actor depicts two different aliases switching between an aloof personality and a childlike demeanor this storyline is definitely unique and you won't see it every day innocent has inspirational origin as a crowdfunding project according to the director she took out a bank loan to supplement the modest budget showing the dedication involved to create this drama More than words. More than words is a Japanese bail drama about three best friends in a love triangle over the years. The aromantic female protagonist befriends a popular classmate even though she is not interested in dating him. Later they welcome a gay coworker to their social circle. The trio gets along splendidly, forming a close bond from high school to adulthood. Yet their relationship reaches an emotional turning point that threatens to drive them apart. More than words showcases the compelling dynamics of a love triangle. It depicts the relationship drama thoughtfully with sensitive characters and intricate backstories. However, the narrative themes go beyond just romance. It is a polished production with cozy visuals, soothing soundtrack and exquisite artistry. So that's it for today's video guys. I know that these are not the only good ones so there are more videos to come in the future. Wait for it. Hope you guys liked it. Again if I missed some of your favorite series then please comment down to let me know. I will make another video for it. Now you can also join my channel through membership to get various perks at the various levels. So please do check it out. Like my video, share and subscribe my channel for more. Bye bye.